August 24th, 1814, would go down as one of the blackest days in American history. It began with a humiliating defeat at Bladensburg, Maryland, and ended with the destruction of the nation's capital. The events of this one day would test the mettle of a young nation and provide some of the most memorable moments in America's so-called Forgotten War. While the British overrun American forces and advance on Washington, just six miles away, one woman remains firmly entrenched in the White House, the First Lady, Dolly Madison. Dolly Madison is my favorite character in American history. And the reason is, this woman is not only courageous and heroic, uh, risking her life uh, to save things for posterity, this is a woman who is beloved, the, the most beloved woman ever to occupy the White House, admired and respected by the rich, uh, absolutely beloved by the poor. Dolly and James Madison make up one of the oddest couples in Washington. While the president was bookish and introverted, she was the life of the party. She loved to dip snuff, play cards, and scoop ice cream, all while modeling the latest fashions. But don't think of her as someone who is superficial. People think of her as someone that they respect. They understand that she has the ability to bring out the best in her husband. She makes the president more approachable. She helps bring factions together within the Republican Party. She's a very astute and very charming first lady. But within hours, the British would be at the doorstep of the house she had transformed into the center of Washington society. She receives word from her husband, who's out rallying troops, evacuate the White House. As the desperate minutes dwindle, Dolly Madison heads for a national treasure. This is a woman who, at the risk of her life, while the British are advancing on Washington, and the male guards have fled from around the White House, this lady decides to save George Washington's portrait painted by Gilbert Stuart for the single reason that it has to be protected and saved for future generations. Which one of us, male or female today, would risk our lives for a painting? And she did that. I insist on waiting till the large picture of General Washington is taken, so I have ordered the frame to be broken and the painting taken out. It is done. The First Lady is among the last to evacuate the city. She finally boards her carriage, searching for her husband. By 8 p.m., British forces, led by Major General Ross, enter Washington. It was never expected that an army of 4,000 men could march with little or no difficulty, take and have at its mercy the capital of the United States. In retaliation for burning the Canadian Parliament at York the previous April, British troops prepare to set fire to Washington's government buildings. Redcoats, under the command of Vice Admiral Coburn, break into the capital. They stage a mock legislation and vote unanimously to burn the building. One resident watches the fire from her rooftop. 